Give me back my toe! Huh? It's... it's the... T-Rex! Here's your toe bone back, Mr. Dinosaur! I didn't mean to steal it! I'm so sorry! Please don't eat me! To kick off the museum's Dinosaur Month, I'm proud to present the first dinosaur fossil found in a Lepolis! Allosaurus! <laughs> This is amazing. I can't believe you actually found a real fossil, a preserved dinosaur bone in a Lepolis. I think you just might win the Museum's Paleontologist of the Year Award, Ollie. Paleontologist? Yeah, they're scientists who study plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. The museum gives an award every year to the person who finds the coolest dinosaur stuff. And there's even a trophy! Hmm. What's so great about Ollie's fossil? It's tiny! If that could win him the trophy, then I bet a huge dinosaur bone would knock everybody's socks off! But where could I find a great big bone? to win. Huh? 
Huh? Fine. I might not have a dinosaur fossil, but I'll still win the prize with yours! <laughs> He's got your fossil. How are we going to get it back? He'd never return the fossil bone to us. But maybe he'd be willing to return it to its original owner. Sloppy, do you have something that can shine a huge light on the wall? Like in a shadow puppet show, only bigger and clearer? Hmm. Ah some help from his distant cousin, the chicken. Huh? The chicken bones from my lunch. All it took was a torchlight, a box, and a magnifying glass to make a gigantic dinosaur statue. <clears throat> I messed up again, didn't I? As long as you admit your mistake. Hey, I know a place where we might be able to find some real fossils. If you like, you can come with us. But how about a snack first? How about some chicken? Today, we saw a convex lens. Convex is another way of saying that something is thicker in the middle and thinner at the sides. We also learned that we should win fair and square. Cheaters never prosper. Ha, 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 ha. 
dinosaurs. What? There's no more dinosaurs left? They're all extinct? Well, there's got to be something else. Hmm, chickens are from the same family as dinosaurs. Great! I can just see it now. <laughs> <laughs> This'll be fun! Now, to steal myself a great big chicken! of an egg. <laughs> 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 
Hang on. Is that the chicken's baby? <laughs> I don't think these chickens are attacking us because they're bad. I think somebody's making them do this. And I got a pretty good idea of who that could be. That imp has really gone too far this time. We'll get your eggs back, and here's how. Like my new sidekicks? Not bad for a bunch of bird brains. And now, for your next assignment. Uh-uh-uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Not cool, Tim. Huh? This was all a setup, and you walked right into it. Now, give those eggs back. Oh, I will. Catch! You think you're so tough, do you? Well, let's see if you're tough enough to protect your silly feathered friends. You're getting too big for your breeches. I'll shrink you down to size. What do you say? Time to get you back to size? Komodo Dragon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the treehouse. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. 
She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a lizard we found in the garden. Hey, Leo. I've received the photo. That's a very interesting lizard. Can you find out more about it? No problem. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young male Komodo dragon. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring baby Komodo back to its home. That's great, Leo, but make sure you find a place with no adult Komodo dragons. No adult Komodo dragons? Why not? After laying her eggs, the mother Komodo dragon will leave them to survive on their own. And adult Komodo dragons might eat the baby lizards. Oh dear! Eat the baby lizards? How will they survive on their own? Young Komodo dragons will live in the trees to hide from predators, such as larger lizards and snakes. When they are bigger, they will go down to walk the land. Then we should help him find a new home away from other lizards and snakes. That's right, Leo. Don't forget young Komodo dragons live in the trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here's a place with many trees with lizards and snakes inside. And on this side are only trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there are trees with lizards and snakes. And over there are only trees. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to a place with only trees. Because the other lizards and snakes might hurt baby Komodo. Let's go! What is it, Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone! Where did he go? <laughs> Let's follow Hero! There you are, Hero! <laughs> oh no! Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon! We need to help baby Komodo. What should we do? Wait, the baby dragon is almost at that tree. He's safe if he can climb up. Oh no! A second! 
second Komodo dragon appeared. To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, Hero, you know what to do. Look, the Komodo dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got you, baby Komodo. Great job, everyone. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to keep baby Komodo safe, just find an empty spot in a tree. Not far out at sea or with a lizard family, but an empty spot in a tree. I see. So not far out at sea or with a lizard family, but, but an, an empty, empty spot, spot in, in a tree. tree. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a safe spot for baby Komodo, we need an empty spot in a tree. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty spot in a tree. Is this tree empty? No, it's not. That's a hawk. They even hunt for small animals. So let's continue. What's this? Hmm, that is a lizard family. We'd better keep looking. Is this tree empty? It is. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Hooray! found a young Komodo dragon in our garden. We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>